In today's Fun with BOC Liquid Nitrogen episode, we'll be doing the Thermal Contraction Experiment. Prior to conducting this experiment, we have consulted the Liquid Nitrogen Safety Data Sheet to determine how to handle this product safely. It is important to ensure that you are wearing PPE that at least meets the requirements of the SDS. In this case, we are wearing face shields, long-sleeved shirt and pants, insulated gloves and safety boots. We have also ensured that our workspace has adequate ventilation and participants are appropriately trained to use liquid nitrogen. Here we have a metal ring. As you can see, at ambient temperature the ball easily fits through the ring. When the ring is submerged in liquid nitrogen, a process called thermal contraction takes place. As the molecules inside the metal ring are rapidly cooled, they lose energy, slow down and the distance between them reduces, causing the metal ring to contract. After the ring is removed from the liquid nitrogen, something pretty interesting happens. The ball no longer fits through the hole. If you wait long enough, the metal ring will warm back up to ambient temperature, the molecules will gain more energy, increase in speed and the distance between them will get bigger. This will cause the metal ring to expand again, allowing the ball to fall through. This process is called thermal expansion. We hope you enjoyed this experiment.